Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to customize the card backgrounds for items in the list section in Squarespace. Now these card backgrounds have just a solid color, it's a block of color behind all the content for that list item, and you can change that color using the Site Styles menu in your Squarespace website. But what if you want to give it a cool border, or a box shadow, or a unique hover effect? All of that can be done with custom CSS, and that's exactly what I'm going to teach you today. Now the codes we're about to go through are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so I can show you how they work, because I know you're going to want to customize these so they look amazing for your own website. Let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site. I'm going to hop into edit mode to show you really quickly how I got this unique card background for the items in my list section. If you select edit content, and navigate over to design. Here, if you have simple list enabled and you select style, you can toggle on the card option. If I remove that option, we'll just see the title, sorry, we'll see the image as well as the title and text and all that fun stuff. But if I enable card, we're gonna get this background. You can adjust the padding there for the top and the bottom and the sides, play around with those settings until it looks just right for your own style. You can also change the background of that card, hopping into your site styles menu. Just the background color can be adjusted here. I'm gonna select colors, and then I'll notice here we're using the dark two color theme, so I'm gonna click on that one. And here in edit mode, you'll see a card background for list section simple. That right there will change the color of the card background. So let's make it customized way beyond just that background color with a little bit of code. I'm gonna navigate out of here, and from our main menu, select design, and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. Now you can install these codes on an individual page and I'll share a link below that will teach you how to do that. But let's assume you want this to be site-wide. This is where we'll be entering that code. Now the code name that we're using today is list item data is card enabled true. And that's computer speak for saying, yes, we toggled that thing on so we have the card background. Using that code name, I can open up a curly bracket and add all kinds of customization. Let's start by adding a border. I'm just gonna type border 5px solid blue, and now you can see we have that blue border on all of my cards. Let's give it a border radius so we can curve those edges in a little bit too. I'm gonna add a semicolon, and say border radius 25px, and now those edges are slightly curved for the individual cards themselves. Now, what if you wanna make a cool uh, linear gradient background? We can use this code name to create that effect too. I'll go ahead and add another semicolon so we can add more customization here. And now I've added the code background linear gradient solid white to light blue. So it'll take it from the top to the bottom there. But using that same code name is how you can create this effect. Now one other cool thing I wanted to talk about was creating a hover effect. So a card can really stand out when you hover over it with your cursor. We're gonna use that same code name, list item, data is card enabled, true, in quotation marks, and then I'm just gonna add the little colon and the word hover. So now any code we type after this will only happen when someone hovers over that individual card. Let's say we wanna change the border color so it's bright red instead of blue on a hover. I'll open up a curly bracket, and say border color red. Now check this out. When we hover over that individual card, the border color will change. Pretty awesome, isn't it? You can also add things like a box shadow if you want it to raise off the page a little bit. That'll create this neat box shadow effect every time you hover over that particular card, but you'll notice the border color is still changing as well because we have both of those changes in between those two curly brackets right there. Alrighty, that was it for this tutorial, a fun walkthrough about customizing the card background for list items in Squarespace. I do want to mention, if you head on over to my own website, insidethesquare.co forward slash list, I've created a few pre-made code styles to inspire you. Got some fun borders and some fun linear gradient backgrounds on there, all kinds of fun stuff for you to explore, and you can just grab those codes and paste them into your own website if you like the look of it. So head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash list to check out some of the pre-made styles I've created for you. I'll go ahead and sign off, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website.
Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.